Dragon's Fury. Yeah. It's 10 to 10. Yeah. Can't look any worse. Good morning from Chessington World of Adventures Resort. It is the middle of September. It is a glorious day. Why wouldn't it be a glorious day? And as you saw there, we started off with Dragon's Fury. It's actually only two minutes past 10. Dragon's Fury opened 10 minutes early, which was lovely. We went straight on there and it already had a 45 minute queue when we got off. Now, the purpose of today's visit for Chessington World Adventures, apart from to have some fun and have a bit of a laugh and to get on some rides, although we are expecting it to be quite busy, is of course to check out Ramesses because you know Ramesses is temperamental at the best of times and it seems that it's going to be gone at the end of the season so therefore we need to get on it we definitely need to get on it in addition to that we want to see what's coming for Halloween and what preparations for Halloween they've got we're expecting some creepy caves action around the uh, area um, down by the Sea Lion Bay and we're also expecting maybe some signs in Wild Asia about what's going on there as well and indeed Trick or Treat Woods. So join us, you know we can't take you off some rides but join us on this glorious day at Chesington. Glorious, glorious, glorious day. This keeps the birds out by the way this. Keeps the birds out, they've got enough bird things in here but it keeps the birds out. But glorious day and yeah, let's see if we can find some stuff. And of course ride Ramesses. Is it 10 past 10? So a few things we've noticed there, you probably saw a rattlesnake, they've got massive numbers on the back of the cars now, they used to just have small ones on the side. It's card only now. Card only Kurt. Speedy service, card only. Hmm. That's not too bad, but look at this day, it's a gorgeous day. We'll also take you back and show you the hot dogs actually. We took a picture of the hot dog building because it's changed. It used to be called not dogs, it's now just hot dogs. Hot dog um, house. Yeah, I took a picture of it but forgot to turn the camera on. So we'll go back and show you that later when we go and do Ramesses. Funnily enough, ride closed at five o'clock today. That seems really early, five o'clock. Queue times, well, I suppose no one's going to be queuing for those, are they? Could be six or seven. No one's queuing for those. 45 minutes for Dragon's Fury. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, look. So, we're going to head down and check out Vampire, which is quite early for us, but first, of course, of course. Preparation's begun, look. Sort of begun. Sort of begun, Kurt. Yeah. So, arguably, we've said before that um, this maze, arguably, is... is probably more scary than some of the ones we did at some of the bigger places you know well I think we went back to uh, primeval um, you know Alton Towers in particular this is far scarier than anything they had at Alton Towers last year I don't care what anyone says about subspecies this thing was far far better it's definitely better than the uh, maybe a couple that at Fort Park as well Probably. Fort Park had some good mazes last year but this was Vulcan. this is outstanding we don't talk about Vulcan Peak we don't talk about Vulcan Peak <laughs> last minute mistake I think um, but this thing was stunning, and you're looking forward to going in it this year, aren't you? Not really. <laughs> but you're going in it, yeah? Yeah. He's scared. Did you hear that? He said he's going in it. Yeah, but he's scared. You're going in it? Maybe. <laughs> that changed quick. He's going in it! He is going in it this year. Because um, honestly, I don't think he believes me. If he can do this, he can do anything. Anything. And of course, the other one that Chesterton are getting for this year is spiders, which uh, we I guess will be up in the wild Asia. I, I would imagine it's going to be in exactly the same place as what Curse of Lost Tomb was. And I really love Curse of Lost Tomb. I think it was really well put together. It had an amazing story. It flowed really, really nicely. The scenes, the actors, the way you were taken through. Throughput seemed to be a little bit slow, so it'd be nice to see a faster throughput. But it worked really, really well. And of course, this is an upcharge attraction. And the only thing that ruins it is the fact that people think that it's okay to take six and seven year olds in there. It's just and not. They literally run out and they run out crying and the maze gets stopped. It's just not, I'm sorry, 10 plus, 100% 10 plus, unless you've got child of steel. And then maybe, 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 maybe. But there we go, preparation for Halloween. Yeah, we're looking good, aren't we? Of course, Black Buccaneer. We could see it from Dragon's Fury, all the uh, supports and things are still on the ground. You know, they need to get that open. And if, if people, you know, people are saying obviously the Ramesses will shut and the other ride will be a year away, Black Buccaneer's got to be open if that happens, but I still don't think that'll happen, to be honest with you. Sorry, sorry. We're going in this one here, this is Black Buccaneer. 
Gruffalo? No. Oh. No, okay. Vampire. Gruffalo? Vampire. Vampire. Yeah. Vampire could have a long queue. They really need to sort out these signs. Every ride says it's shut. Uh, yep. And it's not shut. It's funny, I think all the parks, whenever I read on the uh, 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 Facebook or any of the um, Twitter things or anything, it's all about the ride signs this year. And all the parks saying, yeah, they're broken. Legoland happened the other day as well, where it says it's closed. And um, it's clearly not closed. It's funny because the big board says it's got a five minute queue. So I don't really understand how they don't link, to be honest with you. But um, I've not seen Vampire or heard Vampire yet. I'm just going to throw that one out there. That's right. A wasp landed on a sandwich and now he's going to eat it. This ride is closed. Well, so of course, where it says the ride's closed, we're going to have to take a bit of a guess now on how well, long the, the queue is. open, people are going in. Yeah, but we're going to have to guess. I can hear it. 20 minutes. That's 20 minutes. They all look busy. Oh yeah, it's red. I know people are going to say it's red, but environmentally, it's just a little pond. It does look good, doesn't it? It doesn't go into the sea. I'd actually it? like to see them um, cover that up a bit, to be honest. Oh, yeah. There we go, right. So are we doing this? Yeah. We're doing it? Yeah. 100%? Yep. Yeah. Depends how big it is. I reckon yeah. it's near the chessboard. Cody's going for near the chessboard. I'm can't, going. You can't see through anymore, so I I'm really don't know where it is. Past the shop oh, a bit. oi, oi. The trees are taken over. Of course, the trees trashed the entrance last year when it fell over, and it's like it's taken a bit of the floor out there. Fine, just a bit. Oh my God. I don't think we're going to see Vampire fly over us anytime soon. They're fast. <laughs> it is still one of my favourite rides. I just, you know, I grew up riding this ride. It was the big thrill ride machine when I was younger. And when you were younger as well. Yeah. And when you were younger. We were still little. You know, this was the one. Definitely some roots taken over underground, though, with these big trees. Yep, right there. Um, oh my god. So the question is is the extension That's open? We haven't queued from back here in a couple of years. We haven't queued from back here in a couple of years. But Fast Track doesn't kick off for another 45 minutes, so. Depends what mood they're in and how fast they want to load it. And it also depends whether or not they've opened the extension. I the extension. People are coming out, but I think we're going to hold fun. We're going to hold strong. We'll let you know. The extended queue is open, Kurt. Mm. Is this a 10.25 lunch we're going for? Yeah. So we're going to have a 10.25 lunch. Only whilst waiting for it. Look at the queue behind. Yeah. Yeah, a mammoth queue. We vampire. It's the local shover. Shop's not open yet. That's odd. They'd be making money right now. Yeah. They would be. It's gonna get through. I'll tell you what, the area around here, I mean I remember riding this when it first opened and you didn't have your legs dangling free obviously, it was in the old back cars. You don't want it yet. And you know, there wasn't that many trees, but the trees have grown up so nicely around this ride. It'd be a real shame when they finally close it and replace it with a crazy caterpillar or something. <laughs> oh no, they've had a crazy caterpillar, haven't they? Dragon coaster. The little clown coaster they had. Oh uh, yeah. Oh well, let's settle in for the next half hour. your bags in the boxes as opposed to don't mind they tell you they're there. doing what with them. I don't know, I thought I'd sleep on my back uh, Lots of yellow, lots of fresh yellow. Yeah. So everyone's scared yeah. Atmosphere walking in here is second to none. Why don't they build rides like this anymore? No one say Wicker Man. Wicker Man's slightly good actually. Wicker Man's not too bad. 
but I mean the atmosphere in here is just stunning. Oh. Icon Station looks nothing like this. What are you on about? No, but Icon. It's boring. Looks good. Boring station. I mean, can you imagine if Vampire, you just like, this was all open and none of this was here, and you literally just walked in into this like tin shed with nothing inside and you got on it? Do you really think it would have the same effect as seeing this? Marcel's dead again, though. He slightly worked last time, but he's dead again. Oh, I love the atmosphere in here, love it. Love it, love it, love it. There we go. Well, it's busy. Uh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. It's 10 past 11. We've actually done all three major coasters by 10 past 11. So Vampire's actually, I say advertised, advertised that now are by announcements and some of the cue boards working. It's right at the gate. The queue is right at the gate. But of course, where Fast Track hasn't started, although this isn't our normal route around the park, we knew it'd be busy today, and that uh, we knew we wanted to get on Vampire as opposed to going around the top of Tiger Rock or something like that, which we will go and have a look at, but probably know it's going to be busy. And um, yeah, 25 minutes. Bit of an issue in the station with someone. So we'll say 25 minutes, but technically on and off in 30, uh, 35 because of the issue in the station. But um, that's impressive first time in the morning. Now Fast Track's kicked in. That's not going to happen. If you're at the back of that queue, uh, it's going to be... It's going to be about 90 minutes, I reckon. Oh, about 90 minutes. But of course, our primary goal today was to get on Ramsey's Revenge to make sure we get on it, because if that thing dies again, I don't think the park is going to resurrect it. And of course, to check out the Halloween. Well, we've checked out the Creepy Caves area. We are going to have a look in Wild Asia. We are now going to have a look down at the... Sealand Bay. The what? Sealand Bay. The Sealand Bay. Yeah, well, we're going to go head down to Sea Lion Bay area to have a look at... I can't remember what it's called. The Woods. The Woods. Trick, trick or treat. treat. Trick or Treat Woods. No, we're not Brett, Legoland. we're not Legoland. Trick or Treat Woods. We're going to go down there and have a look at that. But yeah, it's busy. <laughs> this looks new, doesn't it? Because you never exit here anymore, so this is kind of like all blocked up, but it's definitely blocked up now. Gates and fences and fences and gates. And more fences. And, and more, more fences well. and more gates. It's all about fences and gates. Got some nice lights ready. Oh look, they put a fence there as well so you can't climb on the roof anymore. I'm sure I remember one of That's you guys doing that. Yeah. Although to be fair, if a kid was smart enough, they'd just get on the brick and go over the fence. Yeah, they would, yeah. Because it's not very high. If they're smart enough, they wouldn't be on the roof in the first place. That's true. They shouldn't be. Probably still do. Is this two advertising sea lions around here? Yeah. Yeah. Months time, months time, people. Cody, you'll be coming out of crying. You'll be coming out of here screaming. You'll be crying. I won't be screaming. I'll be laughing at him. That's true, actually. I'll be laughing at him as well, to be honest with you. Right. Cobwebs. We can see. We can see some cobwebs. You're right. So we'll have a look from this angle first, because obviously work is progressing on the trick no or flights. treat area. Uh, it's quite a lot of snow in there, but still quite a lot of work to be done, I'd imagine. With the snow on the tree branch. <laughs> you know what? Are they advertising? We're going to check. Have a look on the website. Are they advertising trick or treat woods? It's only because the new maze is spiders, and there seems to be a lot of spiders there. Like, oh, there's spiders hanging all in the cobweb. So here you can see probably loads of spiders' webs. Because that wasn't there last year. We didn't have spiders in there last year. We can hear work going on. We are going to go and have a look around the other side shortly. But it's just caught our eye the amount of cobwebs here. So we have to check the website, it's Trick or Treat Topsy Turvy this year, but it definitely looks different because uh, those spider webs weren't in there beforehand. New definitely weren't in there. And new new Halloween show, I tell you what, they better not better not mess with that Halloween live last year. Because I'll tell you now, best show we saw last year, anywhere we went. So they don't want to mess with that. Just bring it back, Chesilton, yeah, as so it they was. they don't advertise Curse of Loft Tombs, so that must be where spiders are. No, Curse of Loft Tombs definitely gone. It just seems strange they put lots and lots of cobwebs in here. Spiders? With spiders. I'm gonna Especially as it's suitable for all ages, and um, kids don't like spiders. I'm part of them still. What? Absolutely. Kids don't like spiders. As I said, 
Uh, but I didn't see the tree. I don't know. We're going to have a little look. See if we can see anything different. They did post a picture. Tree and pumpkins in the, in the middle somewhere. Tree and pumpkins in the middle somewhere. Oh, what? Oh, nice. <laughs> what a view. That's a view and a half. Hey, pumpkins. I see pumpkins. Can't see pumpkins. Throw the bomb on the oh, tree. Oh, yeah, we do see pumpkins. pumpkins. Oh, yeah. You can just see through here, you can see pumpkins. Oh, it's nearly Halloween, boys. Aww. It's nearly Halloween. So this looks like it will be trick-or-treat wood, but I think there's going to be some changes to it this year. We went in it last year and didn't really... Mm, I don't really enjoy it. I know it's suitable for all the family, but didn't really enjoy it. The little ones didn't really enjoy it either, but we will give it another bash this year. There were definitely no spider webs. This is what the park posted. Uh, two days ago. Obviously testing out a few things, but there definitely wasn't spider webs in there last time. So it'd be really interesting to see when we get in there exactly what's going to be in there. But yeah, trick or treat wood. We need to find spiders then, don't we? Yeah. You going to go in spiders? They still got a choice. <laughs> where, do we, where do we join the queue for this one then? I'm good. You're good? Yeah. No. Right, know. let's have a look at the queue time. So Tiger Rock, 20 minutes. That's not too bad, actually. Cobra 80. Oh. I want a broom, they still haven't updated. Oh, rim of broom still doesn't work. Ramesses is five, I think that's where we're going to head next. Scorpion 10, that seems quite low actually. Sea Storm 20, yeah, and the rest. Tiny truck is 25, I can believe that. 15 minutes, two blasts is not too bad. It's because everyone wants to be in the sun. Vampire 60, Safari 25. I actually don't, I don't think those queue times are quite accurate to be honest. The park feels a lot busier than that, but we are going to walk around now because our goal. It's Ramesses. So we're going to go and do Ramesses. We're going to go and do Ramesses. Are we going to sit in the middle? Uh, is it hot enough? It is. But? 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 No. He's last got no time, excuses. Last time I didn't get very wet sat in the middle. Okay. Got drenched, what do you feel? I did get drenched, yeah. How do you feel? Maybe. Maybe. He's never been on it. Maybe. Maybe. Yes, I definitely have. Maybe. Have you? No, I was sat on the outside twice and in the middle once. You've been on it three times? Yes. I don't remember you going on it three times. I, I remember going on it twice. Times. Yeah. Both in the outside. Yeah, I think you're blagging Miss Cody. No. I, I think, think he's blagging us, to be honest. I don't think outside. he's been on there. So, the reason why we left it running is the uh, hot dog straight ahead. That's definitely had a new signage, hasn't it, since we last came? So, it was very much not dogs. So it's, not um, it's not just vegan anymore. They probably realised that. Although it's good to cater, it's, it's very specialist for such a large restaurant. So you can get classics and everything else on a rollover base in there now. Um, but it looks quite fresh actually, doesn't it? Yeah. This would have been quite nice for a drop tower. Yeah, and then keep my Yeah. As long as it works. So here we go. These vegan deals, or are these all vegan ones? Don't know. They got top dog and then they're not dog. See? Normal one. Oh yeah, so they do do normal ones. So they got normal ones in there beforehand. They didn't have the normal ones, and now they have. It was closed for a bit. It's been revamped and come back out. But there are people going in the Ramesses. So Ramesses, we're gonna do it. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. do it. Yeah. Will it break down? Yeah. Probably. Probably. To be honest with you. And funnily enough, we were gonna um, we were gonna make a. Uh, most spectacle ride to look at top five and this would be number one and this poor thing ain't gonna be here anymore no, everybody, look at everyone watching this the amount of people that watch this the amount of people watch this and anything else right let's have a quick look down a bit it's the old girl running oh the old girl's running she's running well she's running I keep going straight into a spin, you know? No messing around today. It's got some wobble to it these days. We're going to watch him get wet. Yeah, we've got to watch him get wet. Ah. 
<laughs> so, will it break down? Um, oh, yes, yes, it will. So they pulled the levers down on the side here. I don't know if you can see them. These little levers come down. Just by, just on the motor. And it lowers it back down. That was a half a cycle, basically. And then they should flip back up like that. You see them flick, you see? Ramesses? Get wet. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Wet. Oi, oi. What happened there? Uh, got wet on the side. on your shoulder. Yeah. And I'm absolutely drenched. But that's what Ramesses Revenge is all about. So, we wanted to get a ride on it because it is due to close at the end of the year. As far as we're aware, at the end of the year, um, I assume that plan of permission goes well for the new drop tower that will be here. I still think next year plan of permission goes right. I can't see why they would delay that. You know, you can build roller coasters in 18 months. I would expect there to be um, a drop tower here next year. So poor on Ramesses, but look at the spectacle it gets. Look, people have got big cameras out and everything like that. Look at the spectacle it gets. Just absolutely incredible, the amount of people that hang around to go on this. And yeah, you know, I don't think we're going to be standing here watching drop towers, are we? I mean, we will. Now, the new drop tower is supposed to have a water spray feature just above the crocodile bit. So you can kind of imagine this space is going to pretty much remain the same. Looks like the entrance is going to come in from over this side here um, and possibly extend over the back bit. But th th this pit bit is going to stay pretty much the same. The tower will shoot up uh, to the top. It'd be about 82, uh, 82 feet, I think, the drop. And then, of course, you'll have crocodiles either side. And yeah, that'll be the end of Ramesses Revenge. So this looks like it'll be the last year of operation. It's running well. It's running on quick cycle only. Um, as you just watched it, it's literally up, lock, flip over, and uh, fountains. I'd say whether or not that's because it's a busy day, I'm not sure. But I mean, as you can see, the rest of the park's got 60-minute queues all the way around. And um, there's, there's no one queuing for Ramesses Revenge. But it is a difficult one. It is really a difficult one. Because in my eyes, even as a family theme park, the park needs something that inverts. They need something that inverts. Um, I don't... Maybe this is the wrong type ride for them. Maybe a, uh, a good coaster, something like a, uh, you know, maybe like Icon, for instance, would be something perfect here to sit over on the green. Something that's got a nice sneaky little inversion in to kind of add the little frills to it. Maybe this is too big for the park, but it's gutting. It really is gutting that they're going to be losing this at the end of the year. Oh, yeah. And it is such a spectacle. It really is. Oh, it's... They went again. They got it twice then. They got it twice. We're going to take a few shots of it. It's a beautiful day, so it's a lovely day for... for uh, photos and videos so we're gonna get a few videos of it while we're here it's one of the main reasons why we're here to be honest we've got on the coasters which is great but Ramesses is where it's at and then fingers crossed it lasts fingers crossed if it is its last season this season that we get on it during Halloween and indeed during the night so of course the flying jumbos which are located over here since coming from a toy town as it was now Africa So they currently use all the old rodeo stuff, but this is going to be moved. It's going to be moved over the other side. We'll show you where it's going to be moved to. And uh, yeah, it's going to be completely re-landscaped. But to be honest, a lot of it looks empty. It doesn't actually look like it's going to be used, which is a little bit odd. It's kind of nicely tucked away for Safari. Yeah. Hmm. We'll see. But we'll show you where it's going to move to. We've obviously Ramses going. As I said, we believe this is happening in 2020. There's no confirmed uh, word from the park on it yet. That's probably because planning permission is still pending. There's a problem with planning permission. We might get Ramesses for another year yet, but we'll see. We're not taking the risk.
That's why we got on it a few times. So, enjoyed a bit of Ramesses there. Like a bit of Ramesses? Yeah, it was good. Enjoyed a bit of Ramesses? Yeah. Love a bit of Ramesses. Now then, the flying jumbos are supposed to be coming here. I mean, you can see on an ever popular day when there's 60 minute queues for rides, there's a lot of people waiting for the safari riders, which is kind of what we suspected at the beginning of the season yeah, when they wasted loads of time putting this. But this is where the safari, uh, the, um, sorry, this is where the jumbos are supposed to be coming to, which is the old site for the carousel. And that's how it's been said, the old site for the carousel. But yeah, it just seems a real waste putting that there in the first place. But of course, it does make this area even more disjointed than what it is. But we've got tiny truckers, which only run four cars now rather than six. We're gonna have the jumbos there, the low capacity rides. It's a bit of a nothing, this area got a bit of the old theme in from when the park opened um, and then of course you've got you know Africa area over there as we'd like to say so yeah it needs some love I, if, I feel it even the jumbos moving there is going to be really temporary but of course Halloween here we go look at this look at this so running from the 12th of October, which actually I think is earlier than last year. I'm sure last year it didn't start to sort the 18th and it runs to the 3rd of November because half term is late. Half term's a week later this year. So um, it actually is gonna run over Halloween. I remember a lot of the places weren't actually open for Halloween last year, but this year they will be. So of course that advertises these spiders untangle the web of lies. Hmm. So we're gonna head up now to Wild Asia where we think it's gonna be and just see if there's any sign of spiders. Not sure we'll be able to see anything, but we're going to go and have a look. So Curse of the Lost Tomb usually lives in here, and this is completely gutted, redone with buildings and everything. But at the moment, it's still the Explorer Outpost restaurant, which is for the glamping site. Interestingly, nothing started yet. Now, of course, uh, Curse of the Lost Tomb was all boards and things that just sort of went up and, uh, you know, went up really quickly, but Spiders being a new maze, unless they've constructed it somewhere else first and they're just going to bring it over. Hmm, not sure. Not sure, to be honest with you. No sign of it yet, though. <laughs> We're in Zebra Car Park. I actually point out these new signs on the way out here. You've got one there, and we'll walk down to this one and have a quick look. Okay, while we're walking, the park is rammed, absolutely rammed. And we said this about, oh, the bloody gate shut. Uh, that's not awkward at all, Chesington. Not awkward at all. Right, let's see if I get my leg under here. I'm going in, I'm going in between. I'm in, oh no, I'm not. Yes, I am. I am. There we go. Zebra, we parked in Zebra. They're lovely little signs, aren't they? They weren't here last time we come. The park is rammed. It's a beautiful day today, as you can see. So we were expecting it to be busy. Uh, and we got on the we got on the major rise, actually, didn't we? We got on all three coasters yep. and we got on Ramesses Revenge. And that's it. We wanted to come for Ramesses Revenge and to check out what's obviously happening for Halloween. Now, as you've seen there, Trick or Treat Wood is coming together nicely. The park posted it. We showed you the screenshot from uh, Instagram. The park posted it at the beginning of the week. Beginning of the week. They were obviously testing a few ago. things out. Yeah, a couple of days ago. They were obviously testing a few things out and uh you know it's getting up and running i don't remember seeing the spider webs i think they're new in there but you know i'm not 100 percent sure someone can correct me below but i'm pretty sure they were new we went through there last year we didn't see it we then uh, had a look at uh up in at wild asia where we think spiders will probably go as it's not going there and there's no sign of it yet no sign of it at all which is a little bit strange but creepy caves is indeed advertised which is great news because creepy caves he's going in he doesn't know it yet he's going in He's looking at me like I'm stupid, but he'll be going in that this year. That'll be his first full kind of big maze. Uh, he's 10 years old now. Yeah, he'll yeah. Be nearly 11. Yeah, he'll be nearly, yeah, exactly. He's 11 literally a month later. So yeah, he'll be going in that and um, I can't wait for it. I genuinely can't wait for it. I love Halloween at Chesington. I love nighttime at Chesington. The lighting at Chesington is some of the best uh, we've experienced at a theme park in the UK, to be honest with you. And of course, Ramesses Revenge, which is due to be removed, we believe at the end of the year, providing plan and permission goes well. Plan and permission doesn't go well. Might we have it for another year? Well, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? We're not 100% sure on that. But we expect that to be removed. Uh, it's quite a maintenance nightmare. We did point out on there, actually, we've taken a photo that um, it had a new motor on the 20th of August. 
which seems an awful <laughs> seems an awful way so it's good to see the park we're trying to get it back up and running so maybe they are a bit skeptical about the planning permission coming through i can tell you now if the planning permission goes through there's no reason why that isn't ripped out flying jumbo's moved and the new ride put in for the new season even if it doesn't open until may time you know this isn't a big roller coaster you see uh, uh some of the big parks in europe opening rmcs in nine ten months you know pretty sure that Chesham can get a flat ride in there over the closed season and we shouldn't have to wait for 2021. If we do have to wait for 2021, I think questions need to be asked, but you know, there's going to be a lot of advertising coming from Paulton's Park next year and Tornado Springs. So you'd like to think Chesington would want to get on that with a new attraction and try and, you know, remind people that there's some new things going on at Chesington World of Adventures. And however disappointed we are, they won't have a ride here that inverts anymore. You can see it had no queue today. Um, it struggles. Uh, anyone that's kind of got any kind of weight or shoulder to them, it just throws off instantly. And uh, yeah, sadly, I think it has come to the end of its life. Um, I'd like to see in the future on the major development site over there, something a little bit more daring, something just a little bit more daring. Uh, you know, an inversion on a roller coaster, something like that, something really, really special. Um, drop tower, I'm not overly pleased with just due to the capacity, the 16 people capacity, but it will be a hit. It will command the queue. And it will probably take some cues from other rides as well, which at the moment Ramesses doesn't do. But that's Ramesses Revenge. We'll keep it on it for the end of the season. Obviously, we hope to get back on it again, but we know what this ride's like, so we wanted to get on it as soon as we found out and our first opportunity. And we'll be back for Halloween as well. But from a beautiful day at Chesington World of Adventures, remember to like and subscribe. It's Halloween month coming up, and we will be experiencing Halloween. We'll see you next time.